Blue Table fans, it's time for your studio update. We're starting up here in ordering. Observe. Boom! That's how it would sound on a science fiction film. This is a 10,000 point Empire Army. And I just wanted to show you how many boxes that is. So we are getting, this is, this is fully decked that out. Count We've got this, uh, that client with the Empire Army. And by the way, we're ready. If you have a major project to be done, I, I'm your first expert you're gonna deal with. How to order things, how to set it all up. Uh, I'm certainly willing to uh, Skype with you. I got a handwritten thank you letter just for setting this project up. It says, Dear Sean, I'm writing this because I would like to thank you for your huge help in setting up my Empire Dream Army project. With you being a parent of four, I'm sure your weekends are very valuable, and I am impressed and grateful at your dedication to your craft and business, etc., etc. Uh, really wanted to thank you for all of your gately goodness and awesome customer service. BTP rocks. Uh, yours truly, Joseph Gordon Levitt. So, uh, thank you. Uh, by the way, that's an inside joke. Uh, this client looks a lot like Joseph Gordon Levitt. So, anyway, the, uh, the resemblance is uncanny. So, uh, let's move on. Oh, in fact, let's take a look at this bat rep. This is the bat rep between um, John and I. And I gotta tell ya, I, I just wanna make some quick commentaries here. Uh, Warhammer 40K is a lot like rock, paper, scissors. You've got to put the right solution against the, whatever the problem is. So right here, uh, you can't see it beyond uh, this building, but there's five Thunderhammer Terminators. This is probably the worst matchup that I possibly could have had because the Turvagon, other than feel no pain, the Turvagon is wounded on two ups, no saves by these guys and they each have two attacks, so they're gonna make mincemeat of that Turvagon. What was the correct matchup for, to deal with the Thunder Hammernators? It was right there. Yeah. And in fact, the Ormagons were right there. They could have ran right through cover and probably just charged right on in, and they would have been the correct solution for the Terminators. Over here, I made a huge mistake. Um, the uh, Assault Squad, if I had challenged with the Flying Hive Tyrant, um, by the way, that's how they fly too. They go like this. All right, so if he had challenged, it would have been him and the power fist guy with two attacks and uh, the rest of them would have been just sitting there and he could have killed the power fist guy on turn one rather than being killed himself on uh, subsequent rounds. So basically, that was done tactically poorly played by me, and uh, if, if, it will only be luck if I come out ahead in this battle. Robbie, Robbie, yeah. Robbie, Rob, I was in your area over the weekend, Robbie. It was. What was I doing in your area over the weekend? Putting up some pictures. That's right, I yeah. made some listings. Yeah, uh, we put up a ton of demons, um, so if you're Chaos Demons and Chaos Space Marines, if you're looking for those, uh, go check them out on our web store. We got a ton of new stuff up there. All right, what's uh, what's coming up in trade stock? What are you going to be listing? Um, well, I have more demons, even more than what was put up. Um, got some more machine stuff. Okay. And, uh, I think that's all for right now. Some more machine stuff. Good. Yeah, some and we've got a big trade coming in. Check out our blog. It's Death Guard. Yeah. Death Guard and demons. So, thank you. Yeah. By the way, uh, demons are hot right now. And so keep your eyes peeled for that. I have a Death Guard army coming in. It's fantastic, very sweet. Uh, so, and in fact, you can pick that up. Uh, there's pictures. It was a project for a client. There's pictures up. And uh, so it's kind of, um, you know, if you just want to lock that down, to some extent, sight unseen, uh, because there are obviously some minor uh, differences between you know, when it went out to now that it's getting traded back in. So anyway, uh, by all means, check out our trade program. There's a link in the liner notes next to this video. And uh, we would love to trade in your old army, find it an amazing new home. See, I don't want to back into that table. And uh, let's, let's, uh, let's move on. Hey, Brett, how's it going? Hey, it's going what are you good. working on? Uh, Eldar. 
I'm ready. Oh, this is those uh, like earth tone mm -hmm. Eldar, right? Yeah, in fact, you can see more sample stuff back right. there. That's fantastic. Yeah. Let's take a look. So here's the aspect warriors. So if you're this client, you are up for some good attention. All right, fantastic. Okay, James is going to show us a triple. Hi, Sean. Hi, James. <laughs> okay, so a triple Land Raider is what? A triple Land Raider is one that has magnetized options for the regular Land Raider, the Land Raider Crusader, and the Land Raider Redeemer. I'm going to clear some okay, space so here. Okay, so you need two kits. Yep. Um, Games Workshop sells a sprue separately for a Land Raider. Yes. So you buy a Crusader. Yep. So you buy the Crusader. Oh, this one. Okay. So there's those options there. And then the other guns are going this side so, here. Long story short, it all magnetizes on. Yep, all magnetizes up. Of course, we've got the uh, multi melta magnetized up on top. You've got options for the heavy bolter as well as the assault cannon. There's a heavy bolter. See, if you look in here, this is, this yeah. is all the pieces here just yeah. for three it's, tanks. It's a lot. So there's a lot there. It's a lot all right. going on. Thank you very much. Thank okay, Maison. In France, they call him Le Maison. Le Maison. I'm magnetizing a giant dragon. And... Is it? No, it's not. He wanted Maison a... is a house. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted a custom rider, too. So I'm My to name is Le Fromage. So it's going to be something like that. All right, great. So, so wait, sword it's point. a high elf. High yeah. elf. So He's going to be gonna surfing be it a little bit. With surfing sword Legolas style. Like that. Yeah. Then I'm actually going to have some reins like, coming down in his other hand. <laughs> He's going to have a shield on him, too, so I'm not sure if I should do the reins or if I should just put a shield on him. I would on. not do the reins. Not do no reins, just do yeah. it high elf style. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's he just we'll balances call. there with his Whoa, superior yeah. elf <laughs> reflexes. All right, John, what are you working on? All right, fantastic. Throne of Everblight. Awesome. Let's see if we can get some light on that. There you go. But, uh, purple and green. It's a good combo for some reason. Green and. All right, thanks a lot. We need to finish our game too. We do. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Stud. Okay, here we have a Nurgle Chaos Space Marine Lord biker. Okay, here we go. So you got. Uh... Magnets in the arm joints, so he sits in here so he can have a power fist, okay. and then... So he's got like 10 options yeah, on Yeah, a bunch oh of my options. Gosh. You got, uh, so he has like a... a lightning claw. Alright, and then, but he has also a hand that just grabs the... The... The handlebars there. Yeah. There you go. Alright, so. well, you get the idea. Kind of hard to put that on with one hand. Okay, go ahead. So what he's else? also got, uh, he's got himself a chainsword. Alright, there he goes. Uh, he's got... Come out of there. He's got a uh, hand flamer is what it looks like there. Okay. Which is probably just a flame gun. Looks like it's from the, right. the Blood Angels kit. Right. By the way, a, huge advantage. You got yourself a bolt pistol. For going through BTP. You got another one that so just, grabs the, parts. That just grabs, grabs the handlebars. Uh, like All right. They just line up. On there right? yeah. So oh, it lines up. Yeah. I just got to put it on the bar first and then he sits there. There you so go. You can, Oh wait, All right. maybe this is the wrong hand. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's, so that's step the same one, one that you already did. Make sure his left arm yeah. is on the But there the is left one arm. for the for the right, right arm too. The, oh, so you can just arm. have him just straight yeah, up. You doing can have that. him just going on the bike. Whatever right. you prefer. Fantastic. Thanks a lot. Hey Roberto, what are you working on? I am working off the working on the Mena Vessel of Judgment currently. Now just barely started working on it. But I would like to say, this is the 11th War Machine project from this client, so thank you very much. We appreciate there you go. your business. That's nice. Thank you. Okay, some, so James James is jealous of all the attention the other people are getting. So okay, Actually, I just got to show how awesome this thing is. Oh, that's great. This has nothing to do with me. This, thing this is, is an Orboros, whatever it's called. The Wold Garden? Wold, Wold Warden? No. Wold Warden? No, that's Wold not Garden? it. That's it's a Wold something. It. So uh, you're still working on magnetizing this then? Yeah, we got to finish putting it together here. So it looks like it kind of right. came apart and stuff in transit, but all right, that's fantastic. The thing's awesome. So look at that. That's what we do. Look at that fist. Okay, here's here's a terminator. Yeah, find a terminator, okay. and then yeah. we'll put it no, against yeah, this guy's fist. There's a dreadnought. Fist. There's a space marine dreadnought, and this guy's fist. 